This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a bike lock that physically fights back against thieves. It's called the Skunk Lock, and what makes it different is the hollow shackle that's pressurized and filled with a noxious, vomit-inducing chemical. As such, anyone attempting to cut through this will be hit with a high-pressure burst of liquid karma. And as intensely satisfying as that may be, the lawyer half of my brain immediately started wondering whether it's really legal to use this. But before I talk about that, please understand that none of this is legal advice. If you're considering using a lock like this, I highly recommend consulting with an attorney in your own jurisdiction. That said, my concerns center around the fact that in most jurisdictions, using booby traps intended to cause bodily harm or injury to protect unattended property is illegal. Now, there's a couple layers to the question of whether this causes bodily harm or injury. At very best, there's mere exposure to a vomit-inducing chemical, which may be considered sufficient harm in some jurisdictions. Then there's the fact that these chemicals are being sprayed in the thief's face at over 150 PSI. I'd imagine the force of that could also cause injury. Finally, we need to consider that the most likely way in which someone is exposed is by attacking this with an angle grinder. So, the question becomes whether hitting someone in the face with a high-pressure spray of noxious chemicals while they're operating dangerous power tools is likely to cause harm. I think all of those questions are substantial enough that I would not consider using this, despite the fact that I really like the idea. All that said, let's see if we can pick this open. We have a disc detainer core, so the first thing I'm going to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to get the pick that Bosnian Bill and I made and insert it such that we tension off of disc number one. Okay, I have disc one. Let's find number two and get to picking. Okay, little click out of two. Number three feels like it's in a gate. Little click on four. Little click on five. Click on six. Seven feels like it's in a gate. And that's the last disc. Let's try tensioning off of one of those zero cuts. I believe seven was one. We set disc one and we got this open. Okay, folks, as I said before, I really like the idea of this lock. And a big part of me says that thieves deserve what they get. But we do live in a world of laws and I don't have enough confidence in the legality of this to consider using it. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.